and oh yes, those lovely lilac switches. The lilac shoots would grow about three to four feet high. Very slender, very flexible. And I was told whenever punishment time arose to go out into our backyard, which was surrounded by these lilac bushes, and cut my own weapon. The weapon for her to use. It would have been a sheer joy to me at the time if I could have shared another weapon with her and we could have fenced. What were your feelings toward Hate. Hate and fear. This fear extended beyond her. It extended to her, her own son, the eldest boy. During the first years of my life, we were all living in the same house. But I considered him at the time as, what's the word, a sadist or a masochist for a person who seems to enjoy inflicting punishment on someone else. Mm -hmm. What's the word? Anyone? You believe the sadist is a person who enjoys inflicting? Oh punishment on someone else. The masochist is one who enjoys inflicting punishment on himself. I think so. Yes. Well, that was the impression I'd had of the older boy because invariably when the mother got through, the older boy would take over. And he didn't have to use any kind of an instrument. He just used the flat of his hand. He was a large person. I imagine taking after her side of the family. He was about six feet tall, well muscled, weighing about 250. And when I was punished by him, I don't know, it was much more than a punishment, it was a torture. There were times when I'd have when I'd have marks on my back for many days on end. That's that's how cruel it was. Would you tell us tell me a little bit about your uh, you slipped about your uh, high school and uh, experiences after high school, uh, what you did. I believe you relayed these briefly around the emergency room. Would you sort of give us a little? brief history of your life and what you've done. Could you uh, clue me in on what I mentioned about high school? If you said you uh, graduated as an average student and uh, after high school took some special training. Yes, I was getting to the point of where I was trying to... Uh, in the earlier discussion I was uh, approaching the point of trying to put across how I've tried to make myself different from what I saw or from the example that was set up by the parents. Because of her being extremely obese, for example, I have come to look down upon anybody that is excessively overweight. She would brag constantly about how she never finished grade school. And this is one of the enigmas that I was referring to before. I think that I, I just don't coincide. I'm a very mixed up person. I have been for as long, as far back as I can remember. Because while she would represent one thing and I would come to dislike that one thing, such as her being fat. Now, 
very possibly being a little bit introspective very possibly I'm looking for something that I didn't get that I wanted very much when I was a youngster I didn't get sympathy I got a brick over the head if I did something wrong nobody bothered to ask me why I did it Oh, there's another point I'd like to bring up, too. Try this on for size. This sort of thing happened to you when you were This small. happened to me not very many times. Because I was smart enough to realize that it, did, it didn't work. Because mm -hmm. I would get punished anyway. Mm -hmm. Not punished, beaten, thrashed, slugged, kicked. And I'm not putting on one bit of this. I'm not exaggerating the least little bit of it. I still have one mark on my body that I'll wear till the day I die. Because of one of those punishments. I can show it to you very easily. I don't know if the camera can see this. Mm -hmm. That's where the knife came into contact with me one time. Mm -hmm. I was taken to the hospital. And the story was given that uh, well, we were at our vacation camp then. And the story was given that I had fallen off the end of our dock and had caught my leg on a piece of steel ribbon that were holding the drums, steel drums in place and supported the dock.